from your point of view, what are the key fundamentals um, for you know performing agility actions on game day? So for game day performance, I guess for the athletes listening in, what are some um, yeah key fundamentals? So for me, and and this really obviously more so at the developmental levels, but I, I would say even all the way up to the professional, I always start with the underpinning qualities. You know, it's it's, it's very tough to be agile or when we talk about agility, you know, multi-directional movement, the ability to basically agility, we're talking about the ability to meet uh, a task with the required solution um, Mm -hmm. on the field of play, whatever that might look like, a multi-directional movement um, or, or stopping, starting, accelerating, whatever that is, the ability to, uh, put the key in the lock, so to speak. And I'm, I'm always going to start with the underpinning quality. The contact sports, team sports, they're doing agility, they're getting hit. Um, what, what's your stance on, on the weight room? Uh, is it an age thing? Is it a, is it a technical thing? Um, and then um, how objective would you be in terms of progressing them towards perhaps weightlifting? Right. Uh, right. Is that a technical thing? So age doesn't matter as long as they're proficient at the movement, um, quantitative, or, or is there some objective rules that you've got in place that you hold people account to. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give two answers. I'll give my parent answer and I'll give my uh, strength and conditioning coach answer. So my parent Love answer it. is that uh, it's, it's, it's practitioner based, right? So like to me as a parent, I, I'm of the mindset that like you're the coach, what you say goes. And even though I'm also a coach, I stay out of it, right? Like I, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm there to, to cheer, right? I am a strictly a fan and to support my kid. That being said, I'm going to do my due diligence and make sure that you're qualified to handle my children. What are some common challenges and solutions for, for athletes um, looking to develop yeah, agility for, for game day performance? So, you know, so team-based athletes uh, looking to improve right, so, their, their agility. So here's here's the the piece that I'm going to focus on in in this question. So you said uh, team based athletes, which alludes to there being a large group, right? So to me, mm-hmm. that's the piece I haven't talked about necessarily yet. That that if if I can if I can find one thing that I feel like I'm good at as a coach, it is the ability to make the most out of large groups in terms of, I hate to use the term individualization, but basically being able to meet the needs of a lot of different individuals in a large group setting, because it's tough, man, Mm -hmm. it's tough, you know? Do you plan your agility training with the the tactical and the skill coaches? And and for those listening that may have not done that before, what would be some tips in terms of how to get buy-in from coaches and how to collaborate with the tactical coaches? Yes, so I think- I think uh, I wouldn't say that that I necessarily collaborate in terms of the nuts and bolts of drill design or session organization, but where the collaboration does take place for me and should take place for you is in the, the film room or in the coach's office, um, as well as, as watching the sport being played, because you've got to understand what's going on. Right. Like you've got to understand um, what the athletes are being asked to do, not only not only movement wise, but uh, goal goal wise, uh, task wise. What's on the horizon for you? What are you excited about from a professional point of view for the rest? Yeah. Of the year? Yeah. So so like I said, personally, my uh, son will be born in June. So that'll be big, you know, um, Professionally, you know, I just want to uh, a, a, a key theme that we, we've talked about a lot is development, right? And so, like at the mm-hmm. level I'm at now, it's a very developmental level. But again, through the the data tracking and through just um, keeping, you know, evaluating my program, we've seen so much growth. I've been here now like a year and a half, almost two years. Um, the amount of growth that we've experienced. Um, both quantitatively, but also through things like just feedback from parents, you know, uh, in terms of my son is so much more confident. Uh, 
uh, I don't even recognize him anymore. He he walks differently. He talks differently. He believes in himself. 